Hi, my name is Charles Crawford, and I'm going to teach you about SEO. So SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which is basically ranking number one on Google or YouTube or any search engine because there's a method to get to the top. So I'll teach you the basic components of SEO and how to do it. So let's get started and I'm here at Google and I want to go to a blog post of mine that is really good with that SEO so basically yeah so um, really quick number one rankings in our in Google organically not the paid advertising from Google AdWords they always get around 45 percent of all the traffic which is why SEO is so beautiful because it's free traffic um, so the basic components of SEO are content the domain name as um, links and traffic and the most important is links and specifically backlinks so let's start with content um, I'm sure you've heard content is king but you have to you do have to have like relevant content to rank on Google you can't just throw up an e-commerce website with no text um, so and you can't rank any duplicate websites because Google they don't like that so you really have to have relevant content which is why it's nice to have some type of blog or you know information full website and then you put keywords in your content so like your title should repeat the keyword a couple times your first heading should have your keywords in it and then throughout your paragraphs you should have keywords in there don't keyword stuff and put too many um, but you know a good mix is good so um, then the domain name so I like getting long tail domain names so like how to build a wordpress blog dot com that's specific instead of just build a blog dot com that's a little too broad because if you can get all the keywords that you want to rank for in your domain name that helps a lot like um, whatever your niche is like how to learn karate fast or whatever you could get like how to learn karate dot com or best way to learn to karate or best karate moves dot com or something like that and then you could throw up some YouTube videos on you doing some karate moves and a few blog posts with a bunch of text like this on karate and you could even have like a paragraph on how karate originated where it originated stuff like that to get you keywords and content and that would be good so get a good domain name but if you want something that's catchy like google.com or something that's short and it's a one-worder then your your goal should just to make it to make it catchy and short and simple easy to remember like eBay so yeah then backlinks so backlinks is the most important part of SEO and the main like if you can get high PR backlinks that's the best um, PR stands for page rank and basically Google and search engines want to know that other websites like your site and that they link to you and this kind of goes along with social media getting a bunch of likes and Google pluses helps your rankings same with backlinks if you have a bunch of backlinks um, you rank higher because it's basically a popularity number like oh you have 200 backlinks and your competition only has 150 and you have better keywording and better content and video so 
and a way to get backlinks is to go to www.adurl.nu and this is a website that has a bunch of directories that you can submit your website to like dmoz.org dmoz these are big directories and look at these page ranks seven six a page rank of seven is equivalent to getting well over 500 links from sites with zero and one page ranks so that's the power of you know you just get a couple of these direct your directories to accept you and your rankings will go way up so yeah and the last part of SEO is traffic if you can get a lot of traffic that helps your rankings it's kind of like a cycle if you can rank number one you'll get a lot of traffic and therefore that'll help you stay number one because that'll create interactivity and that traffic will be getting you likes and Google pluses and comments you know comments and all that stuff helps SEO but the main one to take away is backlinks and the best actually the, the best way to get links is to just buy them from uh, onehourbacklinks.com I have the link below in the description if you just want to click that but this website I think is the best I've actually used it and um, seen results and they always over deliver like for example I bought about like 175 links and they gave me I used index links only and they gave me like 250 like they just threw on an extra 75 links which is cool and actually today I bought do follow links I think do follow is better honestly just because well you know it's more expensive but it's worth it because do follow means that you get more link juice following the link. It's kind of in the word itself, do follow. It's kind of like posting on a forum, like warrior forum. You get link juice from posting on that because your website's URL follow. They go. So I would recommend buying do follow links. And then you post your keyword phrase here. So this is the keyword phrase you're gonna rank for. So if you want to rank for how to build a WordPress blog.com, that's what you'd put here. And yeah, that's called your anchor text. So yeah, they basically submit a bunch of comments for you on good blogs, which is nice. Because that would take it takes a long time to submit to blogs manually. Because some blogs don't have an option for you to submit to them and all that, but they do a good job. So I'd recommend that. Just click the link below to get to oneourbacklinks.com to buy some backlinks and rank. So that's the basics of SEO. So go check out my blog if you want. I'll have the link below. I talk about other stuff like Facebook marketing, Gmail marketing, how to build a website, Google AdSense. Actually, this is a, this is a really good one I'd recommend. And yeah, so go check this out and buy some backlinks from 1hourbacklinks.com. Charles Crawford here, and thanks for watching.